Ooh, we're on the Sega Genesis. But wait, what are we? Who are these guys? I don't remember them making any Sega Genesis games. Well, that's because it's not Sega Genesis, but it feels like it. Sonic Mania Plus is on the Nintendo Switch. Well, also a couple other systems. But anyway, this is the game Sonic fans have been waiting for for years. This is the game that I have been waiting for for years. But yet, it technically was not made by Sega. <laughs> it, was like, it was like Sega worked with fans to make the game. And, you know, it was all like licensed through them and stuff like that. And it turned into this absolute masterpiece of game design. Let's -a go. New save file all the way on the far side just to keep it out of the way of my main save file, I guess you could say. <laughs> I'll probably just. I don't know, I'll probably end up clearing it later or something like that, or I, or maybe I should've just did a no save save file or something, I don't know. So we're at Angel Island, but things are most certainly... ...different. <laughs> Scraps. Big pixelated block on the ground with a mysterious stone! Whoa! What the? How the? What the? Hey, how, what? This, this, this camp. How, how do we get in Green Hill Zone from? No, no, that's impossible. This is this is Green Hill Zone as we know it. But yeah, it looks looks slightly different somehow, some way. But yet it feels just right. Everything is. It, it, look at the physics. It's it's buttery. It feels intuitive. Is no silliness of... Oh, maybe I should do the bonus. Oh, shoot, I can't get to the bonus. <laughs> can I get to the bonus? I can get to the bonus. <laughs> it's Blue Spheres! Blue Spheres return! Be careful, this is no middle... No middle blue ball there, so it's not gonna turn into rings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so very wary of the Blue Spheres that you are grabbing for. If you touch a red one... You're gonna be booted back to the lobby, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I guess the, the main place you can get back to the bonus area. <laughs> uh, anyway, I went down the same path. Well, so much for that chaos emerald. <laughs> I can't believe I took the same path I took before. Whoopsie doodle. I mean, it's like, what did I have? Like a one in three chance of doing that? I don't know, I actually probably wanted to. Anyway. Lightning Shield? What? Lightning Shield? In Sonic 1? Wait a second. This is not looking the same at all. Now we got... Bubbly Water! Oh jeez, what is this craziness? Well, you see... It, it, it's, it, it's got a... It's even got a spin dash. Yeah, I'm waiting to show you that, too. <laughs> See, the thing about Sonic Mania is that we go through earlier Sonic levels, but they're not quite the same as they were. Ah, oh, <laughs> yeah, there are like little snippets of secrets, I mean like, well not secrets, but like little snippets of stuff to find and whatnot that are exactly the same as you've seen before, but yet still not quite the same. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> so this is another version of a bonus stage. You gotta catch that UFO by increasing your speed. T uh, rings increase your time. Blue spheres increase the speed. Yeah, you gotta just kind of build up that speed any way which way you can. And I'm trying to get as many rows as I possibly can. I, I could have jumped that, but no, no, no. I want, I want to increase my speed to get to that emerald down there. I'm gonna get that, and you're gonna watch me get that. Maybe because this is, it's gonna get harder and harder as I get faster and faster. <laughs> as you see, the track basically repeats, except that the rings, there's less rings per lap. So you just gotta keep building building speed while you are trying to maintain the clock. Oh jeez, oh jeez, okay, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. Head it off at the pass, head it off at the pass, yeah! At least I got something out of this. <laughs> 
Ooh! Happenings! Okay, maybe I should, shouldn't do bonus areas, just focus on the main stages now, because that was kinda, kinda stuff we, well, like, it, it kinda repeats itself in a way in terms of their gameplay style. I'm, I'm mainly just here to show you the stages more than anything rather than 100%, you know? You know? You don't want... You sneaky snakes. <laughs> so I'm skipping that. I'm going over to the end. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh no! It's it's a re <laughs> it's a remix of the first boss. Only they switch sides now. See, it's like things only seem like they're the same until you actually get into them. Like the the attack pattern seemed like it was the same until suddenly. <laughs> really? <laughs> until suddenly you could not hit the top one, but you instead hit the lower one, because both of them are one and the same in their attack movements, or, well, not, not movements, I'd say, attacking potential, one's spiky, one's not, you get what I'm saying. Anyway, Green Hill Zone, Act 2, and Zip Lines, these are not in Green Hill Zone. <laughs> okay, you get the idea by now, so, you can do, oh yeah, there's also... These sorts of walls, you know, I see like a little, little odd checkerboard pattern that's a little bit different than the others. Ha <laughs> ha! You can also just spin into that. Oh no no! Don't you? I forgot all about that spring that was in there in the original too. That is the troll spring. <laughs> that that spring is a troll spring too. <laughs> oh no no no! That's okay. We'll be fine as long as we have just one ring little spiky pole. Remember the spiky poles? Although this is a lot smoother looking in the original on the Genesis, I've got to say. <laughs> Fire shield for boost! <laughs> and maximum fade! <laughs> like a, oh shoot, it's like a, I've tripled my speed potential. Actually, probably quadrupled. Because I've got the fire, I've got the shoes, I've got the boost! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> just like the- Oh! Just like the- Ah, oh, I've lost all my stuff. Because I went in the water and my shoes, they wore out. <laughs> and yeah, there was- That was quite a segment. <laughs> oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh no! What are you doing here? Final boss from Sonic 2. <laughs> what the- this, what this- no, 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 this, no, 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 wait, wait a second, wait a second, oh, explosive dealios, this isn't quite the same as before, so basically what you're supposed to do is, when you can, well, <laughs> you can also jump on the arm like that too, as you can see, but basically you want to be, you want to have enough height to be able to jump on his head, basically, and you can do so, like, stats, or jump on him when you got height over him, Etc. Etc. Wherever there is an opportunity, like over here, you are good to go to give Robotnik the boots. And yes, I said Robotnik and not Eggman, because we're going full on retro here. Oh, you destroyed it all before I could get a second hit on you. Oh man. Oh man. Ha ha. I like those apples. Oh, you blocked me, so you can't like those apples that much. Getting faster now. Oh. Well. That, 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 that works too. <laughs> you could get behind him in the original game too if you forgot, so... That is legit. Yeah! Act 2 completed. Woohoo! But, what will be the next level if we went from Angel Island to Sonic 1's Green Hill? Who knows? Who knows? But we're gonna play it. Okay, I know what it is because I already beat the game. I, I basically binge played through this game in like two days because it was, I was having so much fun with it. Guess what it is? Sonic 2's Chemical Plant Zone! And you know how much... <laughs> you know how much I love the music of this place. And it gets a little remix. Alright, let's go! And we start all with the crisscrossing. Again, like I said before, it gives you some familiarness, but yet, as things go on, you're gonna find that they aren't 
quite the same as you once knew them. Oop! I thought I got through that smoothly, because I had the exact same timing that I know of, but no. No, I was a little bit off. Because it's possible to just zip through that if you go at the right timing point, but no, no, I failed it. That's okay, though. Woohoo! We are zipping along on these, what kind of feels like... <laughs> yep, I knew that was there. Feels just right, doesn't it? Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on a second. We, we've... We've seemingly gone into a different segment of Chemical Plant Song. Huh, what? No, no, it's all remixed again. And yes, they even hit. Oh, I mistimed it! <laughs> and yes, they even have the uphill, I should say. <laughs> they, even, they even have the up. Okay, I'm gonna slow down this time. Let's slow it down. They even have the uphill climb through the rising water of doom. Just to give us a little bit of a nostalgic panic attack of this point of the game. But like I mentioned before, you just gotta be patient. You've gotta believe in yourself and the gentleness of your jumping in the water. And you'll come out unscathed nicely. <laughs> that was really badly timed, like the second time that I came through there. <laughs> Just instant squish! <laughs> Flippy platforms, yeah, they're here too, but that was in... Both those segments are in Chemical Plant Zone 2, but we're in Act 1! What is this? What? What is this? Well, it's remixes, that's what they are. I keep saying remixes because that's what they are. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> you just gotta shake yourself free by moving that D-pad. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's kind of the idea here, is that it gets you all comfy with something you know, but then it throws you off into ventures you don't know. But wait a second. Was this boss in Chemical Plant Zone? No, it was not! What is... What? What the poop is this? It's got a... Perfect movement, PK Cam. It's got per it's got a <laughs> again, perfect movement, PK Cam. It's got a water shield, it's got bubbles, just like uh That was quick. <laughs> it's just like a certain boss of a certain later Sonic 2 Metropolis dealio. Yes, yes. <laughs> and Act 1 is completed. So if we got a different boss from Act 1, what could be the boss of Act 2? Hmm, what have I done? What have I done? Well, I've injected some springiness into this water. <laughs> Putting some greeniness into here. We'll make it really springy! <laughs> so now we're... Ooh, no, no, no. Now we're truly in the chemical plant zone because we're, we're mixing chemicals ourselves. <laughs> We've got chemicals bubbling along in the background, and you can jump off of springy things, go inside chemical balls, probably cannot be too healthy, but yet maybe we'll be okay because we got our bubble shield, and uh, well, okay, never mind, that was fine. <laughs> All was fine there. You can either go up, or you can go down. Remember these? Remember these? Woo! Pick your poison! Pick your poison! <laughs> this is a long path. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, skip the bonus. Go, go, go! Keep showing that stage! And... Oh, I mistimed it! <laughs> That's okay, we had our shield, and we know how to use it. And... wait for it. Wait for it. I said wait for... actually, do I have to just... Oh, okay, I just go. <laughs> I forgot if there's a platform coming there or if I just go. I just go. And going is what Sonic does, as these levels just flow! <laughs> I told you, this just feels right. You can just, you can just tell by just watching it, even, that it feels right. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, there's even little ringers on the ceiling there. Maybe I'll take this path instead of going left. There's so many... So many paths to be found through here as well. By the way, I think this is a Knuckles 
path dealio over there that you can break through that. Whoa, 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 what about that? Yeah, that hurts you if you fall in it when it's like that. <laughs> Whee! I jumped the gun. Or I jumped the chemical. Well, actually, I didn't jump it at all. I touched the chemical and then it burned me. That's kind of what chemicals do. I was supposed to go on top of this. Whoops. <laughs> anyway, going down and looping around. Kind of. And you'll know. Oh, the Thank you! And I hit that on top there, which means that I knocked it down from above. Remember you could do that in, dang it, in the original games as well? Yup! That exists here too! <laughs> I'm just gonna keep on going. And you also notice that these uh, stages are quite a bit longer than uh, your other Sonic -er stages here. Wait, what am I? I've never been here before! <laughs> Uh, because I can't, like, go... I just supposed to go jump over the goo? Well, I I'm not sure. <laughs> and there's some pathways I have not taken before. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so I'm missing something here. <laughs> so many pathways that even I have not taken them all. Oh, you're supposed to bounce up there, okay. <laughs> that's alright. Sonic 3 had that weird spinny thing at Carnival Night Zone. We got to press up and down in rhythm to get past it too. So sometimes there are those little puzzles you've got to figure out some physics and just playing around. But there was actually... Wait, is this the boss? This couldn't be the boss, could it? Oh, it's the boss. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, or should I say Poyo Pop? You could say that I've dabbled in a little of both here, so... <laughs> I was so weird. This is really a uh, left field now, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a couple little little combinations here, if you don't mind. I'm a lot faster than our Robotnik friend there, so... Say goodbye! <laughs> And it's already over, unless I'll somehow be able to recover from that, but I don't know. I don't know. Could you imagine speedrunning this? Actually, come to think of it, because if you... <laughs> because if you were to not get the right pieces, or you don't know how to Puyo your pops, you might have some difficulties. <laughs> I just did a simple... Uh, simple ladder drop there. <clears throat> anyway! Next level, but... Wait a second. Wait a second, what? What? Huh? This is not a Sonic level! This is its own thing! How could this be? How could this be? Watch the live over there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's even original levels in here besides just the remixed classic levels, and Studioopolis be one of them. Yes, you can even spin, <laughs> spin all the signs to get a prize. Woohoo! Oh, that, I didn't mean to jump there. You know what? I'm gonna repeat that. I'm gonna repeat that. Yeah! <laughs> Woohoo! I wasn't touching anything there. I was just letting myself go. Time yourself to destroy the bubbles with your poppings, and you will be good to go. Everything is falling apart. Everything is crumbling. Everything is bouncy like Spring Yard Zone 2. Kind of, no, sort of. <laughs> As a matter of fact, listen to the music. It even sounds a little bit like Spring Yard Zone. Interesting, and no, but it is most certainly a movie-themed one, as you've seen it, there's one of those little clapper lights camera action dealios hanging out over there that we bounced off of, but yet this this still references, like, see that box that I hit, the, egg, the Dr. Robotnik box? Yep, that hurts, yep. <laughs> that, that's, uh, not in Spring Yard Zone, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Yes, I know, I, I hit that on purpose just to show you. It's not really dangerous or anything like that if you already have rings. It's the, it's the whole thing of, it's a trap box more than anything. And see, movie reels and everything like that. He's <laughs> just having a dance up there. Woo! And pop! Oh, time! <laughs> so silly, but so good. 
And continuing on. Uh oh. What can we do to get out of this trap? Well, we can do that, or just, or, or not just say, or we can use our momentum to get up there, like we did in Sonic 2 as well. But no, nope, no, we're okay here. Just destroying everything. This time we're gonna avoid the box that I only hit before to mess around, demonstrate stuff. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. I was gonna. Kind of. Oh, okay. We're, what? <laughs> okay, we're good. <laughs> it's like where to go? <laughs> I, was, I thought that the platform would have come back over there before I would have had to destroy it, but nope. I just took a second hit. But anyway, that's okay. Just it's a lesson learned. Just always kill the enemy if it's gotten your way. You need to wait. Some test screens hanging out over there, having a good. <laughs> and that too felt definitely, definitely something Sonic-like, and that was also, um, I do believe a sound effect from Sonic Spinball to boot, if I recall correctly. It's been a while since I've played the game, but I'm almost positive that was Spinball, and yes, I have beaten Spinball. Uh, that was actually the first game I ever beat, uh, believe it or not, despite its ridiculous difficulty. I don't know what made me stick to it, because it was very, very hard to get through it. But I stuck to it and got through every one of them. I think I was like, I don't know, five years old or something like that. I was very proud of myself. And... Oh! Rough. <laughs> I should actually do Sonic Spinball one of these days, because there's not a lot of people who could actually beat that game because of its high difficulty, so... I could show you some techniques on how to stay more consistent at that sucker. Anyway... We got a whole bunch of guys here, but what do we do about these guys? Well, basically we gotta defeat those guys that are in the background by hitting these sorts of missiles. Not this. <laughs> it just overlapped. We got those blue sorts of missiles. You gotta hit back to them. And I kind of, kind of already, <laughs> kind of already whipped them up pretty quickly there. So anyway, let's get another missile setup going here. I'm pretty far ahead of the screen, so maybe I should dip back a little bit there, and yeah, you gotta jump over them at certain intervals, you can also do rolls into them, and whenever you hit one, it's gonna automatically go right into their faces. Heck yeah! <laughs> so, how many boss styles have we come across so far? We've come across like an arena style, we've come across this running style, a walking style, uh, a puzzle style, the, uh, the polio pop time. Well, you know, it's Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine reference. Dang it! <laughs> I'm just flubbing horrendously in front of the eggnog sign. Alright, one to go. And I got zero rings. So I better make this count. I better pay close attention and not get missiled. I got missiled. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't actually, see, I slowed down. I shouldn't have done that. Ah, uh, poopers. So yeah, this is another style of boss where you've got to wait for your opportunity just by, yeah. <laughs> just by waiting for stuff to be able to be shot back at them. Because that, those missiles I get shot over to the right are in the background. Can't really do much about that. You can when they come out into the foreground. And, ah, oh, dip down! I was almost about to jump! <laughs> Zero rings. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and... We're going. We're gonna beat them. We're gonna have a good time. And we probably should step back a little bit. Because they always seem to come from the right side of the screen. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Well, that works. <laughs> that worked very nicely, in fact. <laughs> Alright, getting the hang of this boss again. Watching the ground. Watching the missiles. Yeah, watching the ground is... As important, if not more so, than watching the missiles, because if you're jumping when the ground is going down, you'll have this really really awkwardly low jump, and that is a killer when you're trying to jump over something. <laughs> oh! Okay, we're good, we're good. Well, please give me a couple more rings here. I'm not, I'm having a strange amount of difficulty here. Thank you. <laughs> All right, final phase. This time, we're gonna be just fine. Right? Right? I hope we are. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta jump over the first missile! Shoot, 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 shoot. Use invulnerability! 
And roll! Victory is mine! I hope. <laughs> it's done. Yeah, as long as they didn't take a hit from any other missiles before that, they all automatically destroy themselves. <laughs> Arr, that was fun! Hey, I'll do the last stage here, Studiopolis Zone, before I end off the random gameplay. This is this is like how I binge played the game here, as I just kept going and going. Like time-wise, maybe I should have stopped at the end of Chemical Plant, but no, no, that's not how binge playing goes. <laughs> By the way, those enemies are sort of kind of references to Sonic 1's spiky guys that had those revolving spiky dealios around their body, only their bumpers this time. Yes, yes, he gets all sad, Oh, I kind of feel bad if not for the fact that it was in my way and it would have killed me otherwise. Yeah, I probably should have hit that. <laughs> the lights, studio lights will fall if you're not careful. And we made it to the top! Yes! In a beautiful rhythm. And now we can take a different path that I did not take in my other plays. Heck yeah. Oh, no, no, I didn't mean to fall off that. <laughs> well, I think I'm back on the path that I was before. That's okay, though. Woohoo! Yeah, so I still have not... The perfect timing peek again. I still have not uh, explored all the paths that all these levels have to offer. Which is kind of crazy if you think about it, because I've done lots and lots of exploring. Dang it! <laughs> I've done lots and lots of exploring on- I didn't mean to- Dang it! <laughs> lots and lots of exploring, as I was saying, of various dealios in the original Sonic games, and I've done so even in this one, but I still haven't found everything. So it's like, I think even the levels are slightly bigger than the originals in some, or maybe bigger, like significantly bigger than the originals, I don't know. Oh, and yes, I know I should be getting rings for continues and whatnot, but I'm just kind of, just kind of getting through stuff here. <laughs> oh, oh, couldn't get the rings anyway. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> do not, do not touch the reds. The reds are hot lava. Aha. All right. Let's go ahead and hopefully beat one of these. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's gonna lead me back to those other ones. I hope. I hope. Uh, actually, I probably should get these first, because I see that they are in the dead end type area. And I'm gonna jump over. Yes! And six to go. Yeah! Chaos Emerald, get it! That's not a Chaos Emerald. What is this? Well, you see, I got a Chaos Emerald in those ringy type areas, but in these sorts of areas, I get a medal. What are those medals used for? I shall keep that secret. <laughs> and we're off! Woo, yeah, that's up! Oh, that's how those film, film reels work. I gotta go back and do that again. <laughs> there we go! I was looking at the wrong side, I was looking towards the right, I was supposed to be jumping to the left. But yeah, that, was, that should have been intuitive actually for me, because I, I was moving to the left while I was moving right, because I was spinning the wheel in, yeah, the opposite... Ah, I was, like, I was spinning the wheel in the opposite direction, and that's how you go in... Yeah, I mean, you know, you spin the wheel in one direction, you go in the opposite direction is what I mean, so... That is classic Sonic... Physics's applause, have an applause for Sonic. I didn't mean to go even lower, dang it, I was gonna take the higher route, but I guess we're not. Or maybe we'll end up higher. I don't know. Oh, what the? I, I pressed. I, sh I should not have pressed the direction. <laughs> that was my that was my only problem, was I pressed the direction. Boss time! It's TV time. Oh man! <laughs> yes! It's weather! Alright, we gotta deal with the weather coming at us. Look out for the lightning! Or it's gonna try and zap us. But don't worry. Oh, jeez, it's getting warm. Getting very warm. Stay underneath. Robotnik is overheating. Now we can hit him. <laughs> this, is, this is a ridiculous idea. But so, so brilliant. Oh, I missed! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. 
I had an opportunity, but I failed. That's uh, go underneath, otherwise you're gonna be a little bit scorched. Ooh, almost got knocked into the sunlight of doom. Back to the wind, which direction though? No, going up. All right, so timer jumps. Oh, or you know, just just allow yourself to get flailed around. That that that'll work for him. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. We can't chase after him before the screen is in our way, but we can whack this thingy, the capsule, free the critters, and end off the random gameplay here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next random gameplay, or maybe Odyssey.